long time no see. Uh, figured I'd do a quick vlog update sort of thing. I don't know. We'll try it out. Anyways, so the E21, the old rally car, uh, had a busted exhaust on it. And we got some stuff. Drops the uh, car off at my buddy's shop. Welding up the exhaust. He messaged me today. Hopefully finishing it up today. But just gonna do a little side exit. Just some cheap exhaust. It's a cheap car. We're gonna thrash it. Whatever. So hopefully there's an update on that pretty soon. Might go pick it up tonight. Otherwise tomorrow. Other than that, just been busting my butt at work. Sort of. Uh, doing 56 hour weeks. So I'm trying to make that money for the wedding coming up and car parts. What else? So yeah, not a whole lot new with that on my way to the gym right now. So it's going to be a productive Friday. Tomorrow I get up at 2 a.m., go back into work and do a seven hour shift to round out my 56 hour week. That's about it. Look at that moon. Ah, uh, you can't even see it. All right, guys. So we went and picked up the rally car. Um, it's been interesting. Picked it up. It actually doesn't sound bad. We put uh, cherry bomb stuff on it, so we cheaped out. It's a cheap car. Um, pleasantly surprised by how it sounds. Uh, currently limping at home though, I was like two, three miles from home and the fifth injector fuel line blew off. And, well it didn't blow off, it blew up. And I had to pull over because the car just lost all fuel pressure. So currently fighting it a bit to get home. I dumped like a quarter gallon of fuel on the highway. So it's been interesting, but I'll catch you guys when I get home. Home sweet home. So just got to pull it in the shop. It won't idle. Once I let off the gas, won't idle. But got some belt squeal in there. I think it needs new plugs. Uh, I had it running pretty rich for a while, so I think I just followed out the plugs. But, cut down windows. Listen to this. It doesn't sound terrible. Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. But, now it's home. Well, you oh you're idling you're doing it you're doing it oh. it's not doing it um yeah now it's home we can do the work that we need to on it oh i'm so happy i'm so happy the car's such a pile i love driving it though don't know why just an absolute blast there's like six feet of suspension play either direction up or down with this thing like, look at this. It's so much fun. Codes. Uh, yeah, this is the one that left me stranded the other day, and I'll show you guys exactly what happened. But, bright side is, I found what I needed to now, and I can properly fix it. So, what happened was... I was driving, engine go brrrr, and then engine go buh, 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 and it literally like completely stalled out, quit, died, fell on its face, that was it. I was like, oh, that's usually not a good thing. So, after uh, a bit of cranking, I discovered <laughs> a very strong gasoline smell, which was running... We could see it coming from somewhere up above the starter under the intake and pouring onto the ground down there. Um, well, this was on the highway. 
long story short, here's the fuel distribution block. Here are the banjo bolts for each injector for mechanical injection. Well, this car has a fifth injector and it runs from there to this little yellow line. Now, this line used to be hard plastic like this. The plastic is 40 years old. When I tried to remove it, you can guess how that has gone. So I replaced it. It's like 3 16 or 3 millimeter fuel line. And it literally just wraps around up into this injector here. No biggie. Well, you see... I couldn't find the proper line when I went to replace it. The closest I could find in that size, because it's such a small size, was 3 16 small engine line for lawnmowers, chainsaws, that sort of stuff. This line is rated for 50 PSI. I was pushing about 80 through it now that the fuel system's working. So, in short, it survived a decently long time. But eventually, you end up with the third hole. Yeah. Um. I actually lost a lot more gasoline than I thought as well because of me cranking the engine, trying to figure out what went wrong. Yeah, I actually drove down the same highway and it, you can see the spot where the car was leaking mostly. It was a little depressing based on how expensive gasoline is right now. But live and learn. Long story short though, I am gonna fire this up quick. Cause my buddy finished the exhaust. I just gotta get a bracket on it to keep it, cause you'll hear it rattle against that piece of subframe right there. So I just gotta support it on that side, keep it up. It'll push this end down and keep it stiffer. But he actually did a pretty stellar job. I was like, hey, it's a $900 car. I'm not expecting some Ferrari quality exhaust on this thing. I bought, what do they call it? Cherry Bomb, the thing all high schoolers get. I got Cherry Bomb stuff. I don't think it sounds that bad. Now listen to me crank it for 10 minutes. Got to build fuel pressure. Or maybe it just won't. I thought I heard gasoline hitting the ground again. <laughs> Let me make sure this is all... I swear I drove it home, guys. Everything looks to be in order. It does take a long time to start, just because of the mechanical injection system. There we go, okay. I literally moved the timing advance, put it back where it was, and now it's happy. Anyway.
happy with it. So, in short, guys, I cannot wait to be driving this car, get it back on the road. It's... You know, I realize, like, just in this video, I've had, like, several major issues with it. And I've also just discovered... I knew the bushing was bad, but... Yeah. So... That's probably why the belt is squealing. Um, I know that's why the belt is squealing. And look at this. It's slipping a lot. So, I will alleviate that. Maybe fix it. Anyways, though, the car is that much closer to being back and driving limping order. So, I'm excited. Uh, we'll have this more on the channel. It's, it'll be fun to cruise around in and do stupid $900 car stuff in. So, we're finally getting some warmer weather. As you can tell, I think we've hit 35 or 40 today. <laughs> really getting treated out here. But the sun's staying out longer. The weather's getting a bit warmer. So hopefully I can bring you guys more car content as I'm more comfortable to be in the garage and hopefully done working very long hours at work. So this will be a good time. I might get out here tomorrow, start filming a bit. Um, I'm going to try to work on that some more, get some more engine seals cut. So today, um, I just scored two, you can see them here, the oil cooler lines that run underneath, like this guy here. It's like the one thing in this front end that isn't repainted, pretty looking, powder coated, whatever. I was looking at the Mishimoto set, they were like 500 bucks, I was like, yeah, I'll wait with it. L literally on break at work today, came across a brand new set, the guy bought them, has them in the box yet, my lip's bleeding, um, has the box yet, just threw the box downstairs, and I think he's getting rid of his car, I don't know, he wants 350 bucks, sold. So I sent him the money already. Hopefully I don't get scammed on it. He seems like a genuine guy. Um, he said they'll likely be shipping those lines out tomorrow. So I think he's out in Pennsylvania, it said. So it, it all depends um, how fast it ships here. But if I get out here tomorrow, maybe I'll just shoot a little bit of video. It's cutting seals, nothing crazy interesting. Um, maybe I'll shoot a bit of video with that, and then if I get time this weekend, um, maybe I'll fiddle with that, with the new oil lines. So, exciting stuff coming up. Hopefully I can keep coming across really good deals like that, because that, that felt really good. Especially because I have a decent amount of money set aside for this car. It's just... It was winter, it was cold, I was unmotivated, so we'll get some stuff done, just like we did last summer. Alright guys, have a good one, and can't wait to see you next time. Peace!